Google has just released its newest earbuds, the Pixel Buds Pro. While they may look pretty much identical to the Pixel Buds 2 and the Pixel Buds A series, there are some new features here, which we'll get into momentarily. I'm Erin from Tech Gadgets Canada and TechGadgetsInternational.com, and I got a pre-release set of lemongrass-colored Pixel Buds Pro from Google, and in this review I'll take a look at what's new, how they work, how they sound, and if I think I can recommend them for you. And early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. And if you think you might want to read, reference, or share this review, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. You can ask me any questions you have either there on the website or you can also post them here in comments below. Final bit of housekeeping here, if you want to hit me up with any other questions or suggestions for reviews, find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. So what's new with the Pixel Buds Pro? The first thing you might notice is that Google has nixed the silicone fin from the new design. Well, some might think that makes them a little more prone to falling out. Not so. I'll get to that in a moment. There are a couple of new features on these earbuds, and key among them is the addition of noise cancellation and transparency mode. There's also been a big extension to battery life over the previous versions. The Pixel Buds Pro here now offer from 7 to 11 hours of battery life in the buds and 20 to 30 in the case. And that's a huge jump on the Pixel Buds 2, which had 4 hours in the buds and 24 in the case. And the range, by the way, there depends if you're using noise cancellation or not the ANC does drain the battery faster. Not yet available, but coming soon, according to Google, will be spatial audio, which mimics the effects of a surround sound system around your head. One of the first questions I get asked about these is if they'll work with Apple phones, and the answer is yes. Well, Google has designed the Pixel Buds Pro for use with its Pixel phones, like the new Pixel 6a here, which I just finished reviewing. You can also use them with other Android phones, and they should work on everything at Android 6.0 and above. The Pixel Buds Pro do also work as a standard Bluetooth earbud for other Bluetooth-enabled devices, including iOS devices, tablets, and MacBooks. Let's talk setup. Setting the Pixel Buds Pro up was easy, and I tried it on both the Pixel 6a smartphone and the Apple iPhone 13. The Buds will link automatically to a Pixel phone using Fast Pair, and you'll be connected without much work. Just open the lid and watch for the light on the case to flash, and then you'll see a pop-up on your screen. On an iPhone, you just need to push the small pairing button on the back of the charging case and wait for the light to flash, then go to your phone's Bluetooth settings and tap to connect. Moving on to an important factor in earbuds is fit, feel, and comfort. The Google Pixel Buds Pro, like the previous generation and the A-Series Buds, are some of the most beautiful and comfortable earbuds I've ever reviewed. The pebble-shaped case is smooth and soft and slides easily into pocket or purse. It has this soft, matte, tactile quality that just makes you want to hold it and play with it, kind of like you might do with a smooth river stone. The buds themselves are similarly nature-inspired and soft and comfortable with perfectly rounded edges, not a corner or ridge in sight, and they sit very flush with the ear. Unlike 95% of the earbuds out there, these are comfortable and soft enough to sleep in, even for side sleepers. Pixel Buds Pro come with three sizes of ear tips for a better fit. Medium are already on the buds, and you can swap to small or large. A snug seal gives you better sound, optimal noise cancellation, and improved microphone performance, so it's worth tweaking. You can also run the 20-second seal check test using the Pixel Buds app. I found the new buds, despite their lack of fin, fit me really well and held securely even through a lot of movement. The water resistance on the Pixel Buds Pro is IPX4 on the buds and IPX2 on the case. If you're running an Android phone, you'll want to download the Google Pixel Buds app from the Play Store. The app offers some special features and controls for the buds that you otherwise won't get if you're using an iPhone, for example. You'll be able to see detailed battery life and adjust settings, like turning off the soft bell that rings when you successfully insert them in your ears. Not surprisingly, perhaps, it does not seem to exist for iOS. The big innovation in the Pixel Buds Pro, but not new technology by any means, is the twin function of noise cancellation and transparency mode. Noise cancellation uses digital technology to listen for outside sounds that may be bleeding into your ears, and it cancels them out before you hear them. 
Transparency mode allows those outside sounds in when you need to be alert for a doorbell, a flight announcement, or a barking dog. I've been really hoping that Google would add it to the newest iteration, and I'm glad to report that they did. You can toggle between these two modes if you want using the touch controls on the buds. Just long press on either earbud. I wore these on a cross-Canada flight recently and found that both modes work really well. I was blissfully able to block out a group of rowdy travelers to take care of writing this review. After a while in the departure lounge though, my music stopped and I ended up just leaving the buds in to act almost as earplugs. So I noticed that it started to sound like a lot of crowd noise was swelling up around me and it actually sounded like an ambient crowd at something like a football game. I pulled the Buds Pro out to see what was going on and there was actually nothing happening. It was kind of quiet. I feel like it seems I was just starting to hear that dull digital signal almost as its own sound. I will say that the noise cancellation on these is most effective with some kind of audio playing and that's probably the case with pretty much any earbuds you're going to listen to. Without any music or podcasts going here though, it was probably only about an 8 out of 10 at dulling the screaming of children and a round of tin can basketball in the airport waiting area. In short, I'm super glad noise cancelling has been added to these, but it's not perfect yet. Google is also touting the ability to nix that plugged ear feeling you can get with earbuds. Though this feature existed in the Buds 2, I found it lacking. In the Buds Pro though, it is much more effective, at least to my ears. When active noise cancellation is on, sensors are constantly measuring the pressure in your ear canal so the earbuds can actively relieve it and help keep the buds comfortable. I can definitely say I never really felt that plugged up feeling at all. Okay, let's get on to the sound quality of these earbuds. The sound quality on the Google Pixel Buds Pro remains outstanding with the sumptuous bass and excellent balance that I first noticed on the Pixel Buds 2. The sound quality is absolutely top notch and it will satisfy any audiophile in my opinion. If for some reason you want to make adjustments, the Pixel Buds app will give you EQ options, though this feature was not available in my pre-release period, so I will have to update this later. I can also say the phone call quality was similarly great and my callers said I sounded perfect while well, they sounded exactly as they should. You can connect your Pixel Buds Pro to multiple devices and Google calls this multi-point connectivity, saying Pixel Buds Pro here can automatically change sound sources from one device to another without needing to click into Bluetooth menus. Multi-point connectivity is supposed to allow you to automatically switch between compatible devices including Android, iOS, tablets and laptops. I can confirm this worked absurdly well, even across both the Pixel 6a and an Apple iPhone. The signal stayed connected to both simultaneously, making it easy to answer work and personal calls. You do have to toggle this feature on in the Pixel Buds settings on a Pixel phone. Even so, I was also able to connect my MacBook and iPhone to the Buds too, not needing the app to make that happen, so a big high five there for Apple users. There's touch controls on the Pixel Buds Pro, and Google calls them gesture controls, and they're simple, straightforward, and easy to use. The controls are identical on both earbuds unless you opt to customize one earbud to, say, manage your noise cancellation and the other for the Google Assistant. Google has made the Pixel Buds Pro with killer, industry-leading battery life. You get more juice if you don't use the noise cancellation. With the ANC on, you'll get up to 7 hours of earbuds listening time and up to 20 hours of total listening time when you factor in the charging case. So that is just 13 extra hours from the case on top of your 7 in the buds. If you've got the ANC off, you can get up to 11 hours of listening with the earbuds and up to 31 total hours of listening time with that charging case. That is about an extra 20 hours from the charging in case over what you'd get in the buds. There's also wireless Qi charging or charge them up quick using USB-C. Plus with the quick charge feature, a five minute charge gets you an hour of listening. Google is continuing to roll out features for the Pixel Buds Pro. Available on launch day will be volume EQ, which makes subtle changes to the audio as you change the volume so that everything should still sound balanced. Since I didn't have a chance to spend any time with this in my pre-release period, I'll have to take some time to test this out in the coming days and weeks.
Later this fall, Spatial Audio will also appear on the Buds Pro. With Spatial Audio, you're supposed to feel like you're getting kind of a more theater-like experience with sound that seems to come from all around you, not just like it's getting piped through a tube into your ear. There's not a ton of content out there yet made with Spatial Audio, but when you do find it, it's a pretty cool effect. Some of the features on the new Pixel Buds Pro are holdovers from the previous version, so I'm not going to get too deep into them in this review. There's in-ear detection, where the buds will automatically pause your music and turn off noise cancellation if you remove one of the buds. And the popular and very effective and accurate Google Translate reappears too. You can choose conversation mode in the Translate app on your phone and the Google Assistant will become your personal audio translator. I went in depth on this in my review of the Pixel Buds 2. Overall, Google has another winner here and I love these earbuds. The fit, design and comfort are bar none and way outdo any close competitor. The sound quality is fantastic the bass is solid and the overall sound is really well balanced. The noise cancellation and ambient mode are a welcome addition here if a puzzling omission from the previous generation. It's also good to see popular features like multiple connections, translation and in-ear detection are still packed into these tiny little buds. The touch controls work well and in all they're a joy to wear and to use. Downsides? Honestly, I'm struggling to find any major issues with these. Maybe aside from just scoring an 8 out of 10 on the noise cancellation, maybe that could be improved just a touch. If I was being more nitpicky, I would say maybe it would be nice to have the color profile extend to the case or to be a bit more vibrant. But I can definitely recommend Google Pixel Buds Pro to you, especially for Pixel phone users and even for you iPhone owners. They sell for about $2.59 Canadian or $1.99 US. If you liked learning about these, you'll probably want to see my review of the newest Pixel phone, the Pixel 6a. Go ahead and click it.